Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Let's take a break from the haul videos for now and join me in this quick speed paint of Horisan from one of my very favorite anime manga series, Horimiya. Uh, I say quick because this one I did as a manga panel style. So no colors, just a sketch, line art, and simpler grayscale rendering. Uh, this isn't really a spoiler since you could just see this as any other illustration if you don't know the context. And I'm not including any dialogue besides a simple speech bubble, which you'll see later. Um, but this is inspired by a manga panel from the series. Uh, so don't mind my super wonky anatomy, <laughs> it looks so odd watching this playback and like my goodness her backside needs help. <laughs> Good thing I'm drawing clothes over this to disguise the anatomy under, um, although clothing wrinkles is a whole other thing to try and work out. Um, but then her legs, I don't know why I drew them so weird. Um, but nothing like a good crop to avoid that problem of having to fix altogether. So yeah, just continuing to work out what the jacket wrinkles should look like. Uh, and then as you can see, my skill at drawing hands is still non-existent. Um, it's seriously embarrassing to show this sometimes. And again, do you struggle with hands? I mean, crop it out. Crop is our friend. <laughs> Um, but I think the pose and twist of the body was kind of hard for me to get right, uh, but hopefully it translated well. So yeah, like I said, the only dialogue in this is Hori-san saying Miyamura. Um, but now I'm starting on the line art, which is one of my favorite parts of the drawing process. I've always thought to myself, wow, I would totally love to be a manga artist. I really like the aesthetic of manga panels and rendering with that halftone texture. Uh, I don't think I'd be very good at it at first because knowing how to transition and string along a whole ton of panels seems really difficult. Uh, if anything, I can think of a page at a time, but whether the overall flow makes sense, I mean, I, well, I wouldn't know if I could do it because I've actually never tried. <laughs> This makes me think of something else and is a tangent, but somewhat related. Have any of you ever thought about or ever wanted to do a webcomic? I considered trying during this one time a long while ago when Webtoon was hosting a contest that required you to do a short story of a few episodes that fell under uh, a select number of genres. Uh, one of them was romance or something to do with the heart, I can't remember. Um, and of course, I chose that one. I came up with a story outline with some dialogue and sketched out a couple pages, but it already felt overwhelming and tough to do. I actually never finished, sadly, um, but maybe someday when I have the time, I'll revamp that story and do something with it. Uh, but huge kudos to webcomic artists and uh, manga artists that have done it or are doing it now. It's a massive project to undertake when trying to tell a story in that form. Uh, but anyways, line art is coming along and all I have left to do is uh, continue working on the hair. Uh, I often will have hair references that I look at because I forever struggle with drawing hair. Um, I'll always hear to practice drawing ribbons and yeah, I really should do a bunch of those to get the feel of the typical anime look when the girl's hair is being swept up in a gust of wind. So now starts the coloring portion, but like I said, no actual colors in this one, just shades of gray, black, and white. Normally in illustrations, you avoid pure white and pure black, um, but as you can see, the highlights um, in her hair are white and some things are pure black. Uh, and then I blocked out the shading where I'll use the lasso tool and fill. This process is actually fairly quick and for me it's a matter of putting in some interesting shapes for the shading so it looks kind of believable even though it may not be super accurate. Um, and then uh, gradient shading in the skirt as you see. And then adding the halftone pattern in various areas really brings home that manga newsprint look. Simple stuff but gets the point across. The nice thing about having a big collection of manga is that I have a bunch of references on how some mangakas do their shading. Um, but I've been asked before uh, actually what brushes I use and even though this is um, not as detailed as some of my other full illustrations, 
I essentially use the same brushes every time. Default brushes. <laughs> I'll put a screenshot of the brushes I use in Procreate. I'll talk more about brushes in another video. Uh, but yeah, default brushes can be just as good in achieving what you want compared to any other custom paid brush. It honestly comes down to vision and skill in my opinion. But after some last minute liquify, we're done. Hope you enjoyed this fun illustration that is honestly one of my favorites to date. Uh, I talk so much about Horimiya in my channel because I've hauled so many things from this series and I just had to draw some fan art. So I'd appreciate it if you let me know what you think in the comments below. Send in all your likes and I'd love it if you subscribed as well. I'll see you in my next video. Take care!